What is going on everybody? Welcome to a quick update. I have heard the good word that TensorFlow is now supported on Windows. So if you go to tensorflow.org, uh, you go to get started, you come down to pip installation, there is now a special section for the Windows users because we are pretty special. So, um, so here's the information. It should just be a simple pip install. Um, and uh, this will get us just that straight. I'm curious if we could just pip install TensorFlow. I'm, I'm pretty sure we might even get away with that, but let's let's just see. Let's see what happens. So I'm gonna pull up here. Um, pip install TensorFlow. <clears throat> and we'll see if that worked. Uh, hopefully we get the 64-bit version. I can't see anything that's happening right now, but we'll go back and look. Um, it's replacing NumPy for me and all that. I'm just hoping that we can get by with just simply running pip install TensorFlow rather than having to do, like this would be the the uh, real a real specific version, but um, we'll see if pip works first. Oh, I can't scroll up to see all the things. Okay, fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up here. <clears throat> and in fact, actually we could just do it straight up in here. So actually Python normally will lead to, for me, we'll go to Python 2. So I'm gonna type the full path to Python now. And first let's import uh, TensorFlow as TF. Ah, I know we're gonna get screwed on. So um, this looks like it must be the GPU version of TensorFlow. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the CPU version of TensorFlow. Now, it looks like it's probably actually going to work anyway. So that would be for the CPU version, which I'm sure a lot of people um, might only have. Now, I want the GPU version because I have a GPU that will uh, work nicely. So pip install dash dash upgrade. Mm, that's probably going to throw. I might have to uninstall it first, but let's go for the GPU version. So I'm going to copy that. Um, come back over here. I close the command window. Reopen that. Uh, paste. GPU. Cool. Hopefully that'll just overwrite it. The reason why I knew is when you do the GPU version, it'll like, it'll have to import a bunch of GPU stuff. Although the other thing I'm curious about is I don't have like the CUDA toolkit and all that other stuff on here that I know of yet. You can now test your installation. Surely there's more to the story for installing the GPU version. I don't know if anybody followed the GPU installation. Uh, optional Linux. Because <clears throat> you gotta you gotta install the CUDA toolkit and all that stuff. Uh, I thought I could just hit down and it would not have this here. Um, so C colon slash Python 35. Yeah. So we still have to, if you want the GPU version, you're still going to have to get the, the CUDA toolkit and all that stuff. Um, yeah. Um, but that's, so you can at least install the GPU version or the CPU version. Now with the GPU version, we have to get um, all that other stuff. Now I'm curious, if all you wanted was the CPU version, um, then you're really good to go. You could probably leave. Um, but if you want the GPU version, I'm going to go back to uh, my own tutorial for these steps for the GPU version. I know you need the QDNN and the toolkit, and that was kind of a pain in the butt um, to do, at least on Linux. But let's see. So we got that. Let me scroll on down. I've already done this partitioning stuff. Basically, all I want... Let's see. I don't want any of that. Here we go. So really we need this and this is just a folder. So let's see if we can, ooh, and this is CUDA 8. CUDA 8 is actually quite a bit faster. Uh, and I forget if like CUDA 8 is supposedly like 50% or even 100% faster. So that'd be kind of interesting if that's good, uh, if this will work for us. I wanna say the current version of TensorFlow really wants uh, 7.5. Uh, so we might have to make a change. I'm trying to see if I can find that in here. Again, if, if you don't need... Oh, nope. Nope, they're supporting 8.0 now. Cool. 
So yeah, we're all ca caught up. If you're watching this too and you're currently using the CUDA 7.5, I highly, uh, highly recommend and suggest that you, uh, you, you upgrade to CUDA 8.0. Um, really a huge improvement. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so Windows, I'm on 10. Obviously, you would pick some other version if you're on a different version. Um, you could do the network or a local. I tend to prefer the local installer just in case I need to do this again sometime. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Okay, so I'll download that. That's going to take a few minutes. Uh, while we wait there, I think I should be able to grab this to QDNN. And this is upgraded too. <clears throat> Great, I forget what I even used for this. Whew, first try. <laughs> I don't know if you if you're someone that uses like multiple uh, different passwords for everything, um, that's a that's a big win right there. Uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> I've got at least like 15 passwords. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I forget which. For, uh, Let's see if they specify too with this one uh, which which version we want. CUDNN. They want V5. So in previous in the previous uh, GPU version we wanted four in CUDA Toolkit 7.5. Now it's eight in version five. So we're gonna upgrade. We're gonna see some huge speed improvements here. I'm excited to try out these new speed improvements. I haven't upgraded my uh, other versions. Uh, so CUDNN. Ooh, it specifically does say five. I'm gonna go ahead and not risk it. We're gonna go truly with V5. There is five one. I would imagine that would probably still work. I think we're gonna YOLO and go for five actually. Man. Yeah. All right, we got CUDA. Um, oh, the other download's slow now because of that probably. Hopefully that'll speed up. So, I think I'll probably pause this while we wait. Um, and I don't know what the CUDA Toolkit's going to do to me when I install. I don't know if it's going to force a restart on me. Um, but we'll see. We will see. And I forget what we're supposed to do with CUDA. I'm pretty sure with QDNN, all we really do is uh, move it to the, the directory of uh, our CUDA Toolkit. But we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this uh, for now, and I will pick back up when the download has uh, completed. So I will see you in a, about two minutes or something. All right, we are back. I've got my downloads. Um, I'm going to assume this needs to be run as administrator, but I'm going to go ahead and run it without administrator just to see. Uh, it might ask me in a moment when this opens in 10 years. Sorry, it's in this... I've just moved uh, both downloads into this directory here. So right now I'm just installing the toolkit and then we'll we'll deal with QDNN uh, in a moment. So yeah, see, we really want it to be in, oh, this is just temporarily. I was like, why would we want <laughs> this to be in temporary? Okay, so it's just extracting it, I guess, to temporary. <clears throat> so for some I've ever installed anything on Windows. <laughs> Wait for it. I would pause, but I'm pretty sure everybody's going through this uh, wait. Um, different people have different download speeds, though, so that's why I didn't. I paused for that. So at least on, on Linux, what happens is once you download um, and install this, you'll go to QDNN, you extract it, and it's literally just like a copy and paste operation. You're just like moving these files to the CUDA Toolkit location. So that's really easy. But I will have to say, unless they've changed their download and install instructions, that was actually not clear <laughs> when I was going through it. I could not figure out what the heck I was supposed to do with the QDNN stuff. Uh, so that was kind of annoying, at least when I was going through it. Maybe I was reading too fast and not paying enough attention or something. So it is installing. I'll bring it over here. And before this fails, this stuff is just crazy. I remember like years ago trying so hard to get computing on the GPU to do anything with CUDA it's just such a little sensitive system uh, luckily TensorFlow has made it really easy lately at least but we'll see there's always just hang-ups in my experience with this stuff 
Uh, and apparently checking compatibility is taking four years. There we go. Green continue. I will also say this is probably so much easier than uh, doing it on Linux. The whole setup process on Linux was a pain in the butt. <laughs> Snip. Snap. Please don't tell me you just restarted on me. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Everything's coming in and out. I'm going to lose this recording. I'm calling it. <laughs> Everything I've done so far is going to be lost probably. Uh. In fact, I'm going to save this recording up to this point because I'm pretty... Sh like, whenever I install this stuff, sometimes a, a restart happens to you, so... All right, and we're back. I was definitely seeing the future because it... Well, it didn't restart my computer, but instead it crashed my recording. It also, for whatever reason, changed my audio device on me. That's cool. I'm not sure why it did that. <laughs> but all right, it actually made my monitor the audio device. Um, that's a first. Anyway, <laughs> I'm sure everything works. Uh, cool, the installation's done, we'll hit next. Um, I don't need to see any of that documentation, let's be serious. Okay, so we have CUDNN installed. I have absolutely no idea where it went. I guess I'll go hunt for it. Let's see, uh, probably program files. Oh, there it is, okay, let's see. So for me, I went in, yeah, this, see, program files, I was looking in program files x86, uh, so just straight up program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit. It's probably what we're looking for. Then you got CUDA, V8.0, and so on. So now what I'm going to do is find where our, of course, I got rid of it. And, oh my goodness, where did it all go? My original uh, Windows TF testing. Cool. So, <clears throat> so this is is where CUDA was installed. At least on my machine, that was by default. C, program files, NVIDIA GPU, and all that. Now what we do is we're gonna extract this right to our same directory. Uh, and then this is Windows CF. <laughs> okay, so this is that CUDA directory. You click on that, you got bin, include, and lib. That should match here. There's your bin, include, and lib. And so what we're hoping to do is to just merge these two um, together. Let's just drag it in here. Just move to 8.0. Uh, we need permission. Continue. 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 Wow, okay. Do this for all the con current items, please. Thank you. I was really hoping to see you were going to tell me that it was a merge, but yeah, that's more was in there. I thought there would be like a warning that like this already existed or something, but no. Okay. I guess we made the copy. <laughs> We're going to find out, I suppose. All right. So let's uh, minimize this. This, In fact, let me open up now a shell or command window. Uh, I forget if... Okay, thank you. I think Python still... Yeah, Python is for 2.7 on my machine. So I'm going to go C colon Python 35. Python. Import uh, TensorFlow. I see mostly successfuls. Do we get it all? Successful, successful. Oh, and we win. That's really exciting. I'm really happy to see that. Really happy to see that. Now let's go ahead and test it. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. All right, let's... Um, I can't remember. I think this uses... I forget whose data this uses. If you guys want hoodies, let me know. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this explains them. Let's see. We'll go to this one. Hopefully, we've got some sample code here, Harrison. This was the previous one. And then here we just changed it. I guess we could just go ahead and run this one. I really just want to see it run. That's all. Ah, oh, this is going to throw us for a loop, too. Okay. Paste there. What in the heck? <laughs> did I have some sort of a... Uh... Oh, I did. <laughs> I just want just that code. Um, we'll just read it in wherever we are, I guess. I wonder if I just leave this blank if it'll just be local. 
<laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll have to extract the data for it. Oh. Oh, okay, fine, 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 fine. Maybe this. Access is denied. We really ought to. There we go. I didn't see anything happen here. This just is a deprecation warning. Not quite sure why why we got kicked out there. Let's go to the command window instead. Let's do uh, C colon slash Python 35 Python Windows testing.py. Weird, so it just doesn't want to work in, uh, I probably shouldn't have done this. <laughs> It doesn't want to work in um, very fast. Very good. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to work in idle. OK. Uh, but it works in the uh, command line. Still gives us that uh, deprecation warning, but at least it actually still runs. And that, that's how a deprecation warning ought to be. That's why I was like, why did it stop? Cool. So yeah, this appears to be running pretty uh, at the pace that it ought to be. Um, I don't know if there's an SMI equivalent to, let's see if I have, I should have GPU, I think I have GPU-Z installed. All right, I quickly just went to grab GPU-Z just to see uh, what we're doing. So what I'll do is I'll put this down here and then here you see the GPU load currently 5%. We'll run this. Hopefully we'll see it jump up. It shouldn't have to jump up too high. Oh, it's actually, <laughs> uh, I used quite a bit there to initialize. That's weird. So currently we're sitting about 50% GPU load, which is probably to be expected. This isn't a huge, the biggest network. Cool. So it's definitely using the GPU. That's exciting. Um, cool. So if anybody has uh, any uh, questions, comments, concerns, whatever, if, you've, if you're unable to install the GPU version or really the CPU version of TensorFlow, uh, let me know. Uh, one thing I will just say is uh, in the Windows version, they do make it clear that if you get this like missing thing here, if you see this error to a module named PyRap TensorFlow blah, 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 or DLL failed, uh, you might be missing uh, this it might not be in your path, but also you're probably also, if this is happening to you, you probably just need to download C++ 2015 redistributable. Click on that, come down here, English download, install that. Otherwise, if that's not your problem, uh, let me know and I'll do my best to uh, help you out. And um, I will see you guys in another tutorial.